What is going on guys, Andy Gabs back for another vlog and today we are back at Triple L Reptile here in Oceanside, California and we're going to be playing a little game today. Noah and Eric actually gave me the idea for this game uh, but we're going to change it up a little bit. The rules are going to be a little bit different uh, but I think you guys might like it so stay tuned but for now let's check out Triple L. I hope you like that little walk around shot of the store. I'm trying to do more like the cool cinematic y type of stuff. I don't know, still learning how to do it. Um, but we are going to be playing a reptile guessing game. Uh, so, not just like a ball python morph or a leopard gecko morph guessing game like Noah had been doing it, but I'm actually going to play with you guys. So, we're going to go through a bunch of different reptiles, start pretty easy, and then get kind of more complex as we go along. So, the way it's going to work, or the way that I have it envisioned working in my head, I'm going to show you guys a reptile and you're going to have to guess what the reptile is and its morph. Uh, so some of them won't even have morphs, they'll just be normal reptiles of whatever that species is. Some of them, like this first one, are going to have morphs as well. So take your guess, type it down in the comments below. Whoever wins, I'll have something for you. I don't know what I'll have, but I'll send you something cool. And for everyone that wanted one of the cards, I will be mailing those out tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, so if you wanted one, I need your address. So find a way to get in contact with me, PM me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, whatever. I'll throw the links to all my stuff down in the description. But let's get going. And I forgot to mention, at the end of the video, I'll put what all of these animals are so that you guys can know if you were right uh, and then I can keep track of what everyone guessed, if that makes sense. So stay tuned to the end of the video. That's where we're gonna go through and reveal what every single animal is. This is the first one I got for you. This is a one gene animal, so you gotta guess what the animal itself is and then what the morph of it is as well. So I'm gonna try to get you guys some good shots. Kinda squirmy, but this one shouldn't be that hard if you're a reptile person. If you're not a reptile person, it might be a little bit more difficult for you. Go ahead and take your guess down in the comments below. That was our first animal, let's move on to something else. Alrighty guys, next up we have one of my favorite animals and if you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you probably know what this guy is. Uh, trying to focus on him right now because I don't want him to bite me. This one. There you go, you have to guess what the snake is and what the locality of it is because the snake is kind of a giveaway in and of itself. There it is, give you guys a good view of it. Again, just trying not to get bit. This one, you wanna pay attention to the colorings on it, the pattern. Totally looks like he's gonna bite my arm, so let's hope that doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, go ahead, take your guess down in the comments. Next up, we got what is probably gonna be the most adorable thing in this video. Uh, you guys are definitely gonna know what it is, but I want to know more specifically what species is it. Yeah, let's show you guys. This little dude. This little guy. What do you guys think this dude is? Show you the belly pattern. Show you his face. He is absolutely adorable. Go ahead, take your guess for this little dude down below. Next up, we got a snake that can be a little bitey, but she honestly seems to be doing fine so far. And uh, I'll give you guys a hint for this one. You could say that some other snakes might want to give it a kiss. Take that hint for what you will. But here she is. You should be getting some very big hints right about there. You know, she would turn her head for me. Again, you could say some other snakes might be jealous of her kissing ability or however you want to say it. Uh, if you know what it is, you should probably get my reference. There's your good hint right there. 
Yeah, this girl's pretty big too, but absolutely beautiful. And they said she was kind of nippy, but she doesn't seem that bad to me personally. But I mean, what do I know? I'm just a guy that gets bits by stuff all the time. I just said gets bits. Yeah, beautiful snake. Go ahead and take your guess down below for this beautiful girl right here. So next up, we have another one of my favorite animals. Uh, super cool, super fun to interact with, very smart. This one's kind of squirmy, but luckily, usually they don't bite. Um, so this one, you just gotta guess what it is, what, what species it is. So here you go. Try to give you guys a good view. See if I can get them to calm down. Still, I'll give you a hint for this one. It is still pretty small comparatively to how big it can get. You guys can see he's super squirmy. Ow! Claws are super sharp too. This guy will grow to be pretty decently sized and usually they're known for being the most docile in their family. Not the most docile, but very docile. This guy is just kind of small so he's a little bit flighty. Try to show you his back pattern. Right there. Seeming to calm down a little bit. Close up of the face. Again, these guys are one of my favorites, so if you've been watching for a while, that might give you a hint, it might not. But yeah, go ahead, take your guess down below. All right guys, so next up, we're gonna start to get a little bit more difficult, a little bit more complicated. Might throw in some two and three gene animals, uh, but for now, this is just a, a one gene animal. So you gotta guess the locality and what it is. I'll give you guys a close up, try to get you some hints. There you go, close up shot. Again, with this guy, you want to pay attention to the side saddling, but notably the tail. So his tail starts right about here. That's a little bit different compared to some of the other things that are very similar to him. I'm trying to give you guys some hints. There you go. I think that should be enough to give you guys some hints at least. Uh, I have never personally owned one of these guys, but I've owned stuff very, very similar to them. This guy's super squirmy too. He just wants to explore. And again, dude, everything wants to see what the mic is. That's what he's going up to, is trying to see what the mic is. Go ahead and take your guesses in the comments down below for what this beautiful dude is. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna get this one right. I think you guys will get close, but I don't know if you'll get it right. Next up, we have a two gene animal. I think most of you guys are gonna know what type of snake this is. It's a ball python. Um, so there you go, I gave you uh, what type it is. But it's a two gene animal, I'll give you a hint. One of them is gonna be a pattern changing and one of them is gonna be a color and pattern changing, I believe. Not 100% good with the ball python morphs. I tell you I would not be able to get this at all. I might get one of them. Um, but I would not be able to get the other one. But here's a closer look for y'all. Try to get you some side saddles. Get you a look at the top of him. Try to get you a good headshot. Right there. Have him slither through on his own. Like I said, it is a two gene animal. One of them is gonna be more of a color changing morph and the other one is gonna be more of a pattern changing morph. Take your guess down below what this guy is. Alrighty guys, I got maybe a couple more for you. So this one is gonna be, I'm not gonna say it's two genes, it's two localities, I guess you could call it. Uh, so you gotta guess both localities to get this right. If you just get one, you do not get half credit. So here we go, try to get you guys a closer view. Those side saddles. Really beautiful snake. The freckling on it and everything, and it's almost got like a pinkish hue to it. Let's see if I can get them over my shoulder to get you guys a head view, and then I'll get you a tail view. There you go, good head view. All right, there's a good head view. All the saddles, all throughout. I think you can kind of even tell in the video that he's got some pink to him. And here is the tail. Go ahead, guess down below what you think this guy is. This is another pretty difficult one because it's not um, morph difference, it's a locality difference. But it does give you some hints. Go ahead, guess down below. Last animal is not super crazy. Um, but there is a ton of different types of these guys, so you need to say what the snake is, what the locality is, and it's also het for something. 
Uh, so try to guess what it's het for. Obviously, het, you're not gonna have any visual markers, but just try to guess. Here it is. Again, kind of a squirmy guy, but you should already be getting some hints. So again, the locality or what type it is, then what kind of snake it is, uh, and then try to guess what the het is. Again, that's gonna be a, uh, a beast to do, but not that hard because there's not many things these guys can be het for. Not like as crazy as a ball python or anything like that. But definitely a super cute little guy. I saw how he just bit me. I saw how, ow, he just bit me again. What? He hasn't bit me this whole time and now he's just over here biting. This little dude just got crazy, biting me for no reason. Um, but yeah, go ahead, take a guess what you think this guy is. This is the last thing that I'm gonna show you. Hard for me to get a good view of it. Oh, did y'all just see it? Don't cheat. Hard for me to get you guys a good view of him. You guys can kinda see it. Oh, there we go. That should give you all you need to guess what this guy is. Uh, as a hint for this dude, there is a clear cut reason I am not taking this guy out of here. Very good reason why I'm not taking him out. Go ahead, take your guess down below for what this beautiful dude is. If you guys didn't know it, this is a snow Kenyan sand boa. So, little Kenyan sand boa dude, say hello. Let's see who got it right. This guy was a Bioc green tree python. This was a little teeny tiny baby Herman's tortoise. So if you got that right, good for you. I honestly don't even think I would have known that. For those of you that didn't get this one, this is a white lip python. Uh, if you get my hint now, white lips, kiss, you know, I thought it was funny. This crazy little squirmy dude is a savanna monitor. So it's about a, I'd say a juvenile savanna monitor. Uh, very pretty, kind of flighty, and super sharp nails. So if you got that one right, good for you. One of my favorites. All right guys, this beautiful dude right here. All right guys, this beautiful dude right here is a Peruvian long tail boa. So I tried to give you a hint with the, uh, the long tail compared to some normal red tail boas. Uh, definitely a beautiful dude and definitely super squirmy. So the two gene ball python was an Enchi orange dream ball python. So the orange dream brightens him up, makes him a little bit more orange, and then the Enchi changes the pattern a little bit. Very pretty snake. This beautiful beast right here is a Sonoran and Hog Island Boa cross. Very beautiful, the pinks and the black freckling are all absolutely gorgeous on this animal. Very curious to see if anybody got this guy right. This crazy little dude is a baby Darwin's carpet python and he is het for albino. Did you get the het for albino? I mean, like I said, not too many things that they can be het for, um, but this dude's crazy, he keeps biting me now for no reason, I don't get it. This last guy is a medium Brazilian salmon pink bird-eating tarantula. So uh, didn't take him out because I don't want to get bit and they kind of scare me. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much all I have for this video today. Huge thank you to Triple L Reptile here in Oceanside for coming and letting me film with some amazing animals. All the links to Triple L stuff will be down in the description. Every animal that you guys saw today is available for purchase. Uh, some of them are probably on their website, maybe not all of them, I'm not 100% sure, but everything is available for purchase. So if you live in the SoCal area, I'm sure you've already heard of Triple L, but if you haven't, definitely check them out. I will link their YouTube, Instagram, and their actual website page uh, down below the first three links so definitely go check them out huge thank you again to you guys for letting me come out specifically alan the manager here at triple l who you guys saw in the last triple l video uh so right now i'm just gonna finish up hanging out with a couple animals this beautiful big colombian red tail boa uh, we're just chilling. But again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Please like this video if you liked it. Comment something down below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and turn the notification bell on so you get notified every time I post. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.